Hey guys, so really quickly before we jump into anything, I just want to take a moment to um, make a, a statement about like some conscious awareness um, just about the world around us because that's something that's very important to Nikki and I to really look at like the issues that are going on in the world and the community and to do our part to hopefully try and at least raise awareness and maybe potentially raise some, um, some funds for it as well. So I'm sure as many of you know, um, Australia is suffering with just devastating wildfires, like unimaginable wildfires. And um, a lot of their wildlife is dying because of it. Um, obviously the the citizens and the people who live there, they're also suffering, but the wildlife itself is, um, it's very rich in Australia and we are losing rapidly a lot of um, very uh, important species to us. Um, koala bears may be on the uh, the endangered species list after this. So that being said, there's a lot of people out there who are risking their lives and their safety and um, they're taking incredible steps and um, attempts to to control these fires, to contain those fires and to make them um, manageable is because right now they're not. So that being said, uh, Nikki has done a lot of research and he's found an organization that directly donates to the firefighters and 100% of the proceeds goes directly to them to help them fight the fires and to help them save whatever wildlife they can and preserve the um, the environment there as much as they can. If you would like to donate, do not feel pressured to at all. It's just something that we wanted to give you guys the option to since he has done the research and found an organization that is going to be giving the proceeds to the right place. Because I know with charities, sometimes you may donate and you're not really, you're not really sure where your money is going. So if you want to to donate then we really appreciate it it is um, going to be linked into the bottom of the channel and uh yeah other than that stay tuned for content hey guys welcome back to dark angel beauty thank you so much for tuning in today i hope you guys are having a wonderful day we are here with you today for the ipsy versus ipsy glam bag plus edition what yeah, all my subscription boxes have been very disappointing this month, so I have zero hopes for this one, um, but maybe, maybe it'll be a surprise for me. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what's going on here. If you have seen any of the other videos, I don't know how they're getting posted, but I'm assuming that Nikki is going to post them in the order we film them, so I'm talking that way. So if it doesn't make sense, sorry. But if you have seen any of the other videos from this whole collection of um, me wearing this outfit and this particular hat, this fabulous little fedora here, uh, which makes me feel like just the most bad cowboy in the wild west um we have developed a really wonderful working relationship with fur talk they are the ones who have designed and are selling this hat they are an amazing company very personal they're still very small so they're growing they're sold on amazon they have just a wide variety of amazing products they are really quality they really care about their customers and um I just can't say enough great things about them. So if you wanna pick up a hat similar to mine, they have like 12 different colors that you can choose from. They have a couple different styles as well. This is the one with like the, the thin leather band, which I was a big fan of. Um, yeah, and if you wanted to check them out, like I said, they are sold on Amazon. You can also find them on, um, they have a website as well. And you can connect with them on Instagram and things like that. Uh, we do have a promo code if you wanna pick up some uh, some discounted merch because we all like a good bargain. You know, I am the deal, uh, the deal queen, the savings queen because I like money. So I just like anything I can do to save money. I love that. Um, but we have a promo code called, uh, called, <laughs> the promo code is uh, DA Beauty. It's capital D, capital A, lowercase beauty. And you can get 15% off with that code. So definitely check them out. They have some great products and um, some awesome things to offer you guys as consumers. So pitch being done, we are now jumping right into the Ipsy versus Ipsy. If you guys don't know what this is, basically my mother has an Ipsy subscription. I have an Ipsy subscription. So every month I take both of our subscriptions and I open them at the same time. I have no idea what's in either box. I know which box is which, and then I pick uh, whether I like hers better, mine better, or uh, what, what's going on there? Cause there's always a winner. And then I also create my favorite box out of the 10 total products we were given. So that means like my ideal box from everything we received. Now, that being said, I always stop, I've had them switched. Normally I put hers on the side and mine on the side, but this is hers. So uh, we always start with hers. So we're starting with hers with this one as well. This is her box. Like I said, I know nothing about it. I do know though, I hated my regular Ipsy, but dang, look at these bags. They're so cute. Oh, I love it. I love that bag. I love this bag. I would marry this bag. It's got a wristlet strap. I love this bag. 
I don't remember what product I chose for this month. I think I know because I'm seeing what she chose, but I don't remember. So bear with me with this because you do get to customize and pick one of your options in each bag. So. Uh, I know she chose the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Boosting Serum. I have believe I've received this in a couple of different boxes at this point now. So I have quite a few of these, but this is a very pricey product on the market. So it's actually a very good asset to have, which is I believe why it's also what I chose. I can't remember though, when I see my box, hopefully I'll remember. But I know that's what she shows, so. All right, and then she got this Hanalei Lip Treatment. Um, I've heard of Hanalei, but I'm not sure I've received any of their products. The lip treatment itself is a very nice size. Um, I'm, let me try and figure out like what it is. It is, it looks like it's actually like more of a moisturizer for your lips. So it says the best results are going to be if you use it after a lip, uh, sugar lip scrub. So the sugar lip scrubs really do a great job of like going in there and peeling off like the dead skin that you get, especially around the winter time. So I would assume that this is probably more of like a moisturizing effect um, rather than just like a cleanser or even a mask for your lips. So yeah, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and say that is. For me, that's not something that is great. It's not a bad thing. It's just not something that I would ever be like, oh, I'm gonna go buy that myself. So that's kind of what, what makes it not great. All right, so I got a mini Pure Lissy, um milk cleanser in my regular Ipsy. This is a Pure Lissy Prevent Blue Lotus 4-in-1 I Adore Serum. I'm guessing it's kind of like the retinol serums that we see everywhere. It is, in my opinion, kind of small for a full size item. That doesn't mean that it's not good. I mean, obviously eye creams, you don't need a whole ton of them. So it's going to be like a little bit application each time. It says it's for all skin types and it is good for sensitive skin and it hydrates intense, uh, in intensively firms and brightens, and then it also decreases your puffiness. So there's a lot of good things in here. Um, my mom is a fan and isn't a fan of like creams and stuff like that. So like, she's very particular about what she chooses. So she might really like this. Um, I know we both get bags under our eyes very easily. It's just like a genetic thing. So that might be something that she actually really enjoys. Um, but I'll have to kind of see what she says about it when everything is said and done. The next thing she got is a, uh, it's black eyeliner which like we've seen about 20 of these between all the subscription boxes, not necessarily this month, but just overall. So kind of boring in my opinion. I'm also kind of bitter, so who who knows anymore? And then she got this Wander Beauty Wanderous Rush Eyeshadow Palette. Those are the colors on the back. I personally think she's gonna love it. And I personally am really hoping that I got one as well because um, it looks like it's gonna be, I like Wander Beauty a lot. I've received some of their products different types like cleansers, things like that. I've received makeup from them. I've, I really like them as a company. And so I would say um, this is probably gonna be a decent little palette. Oh yeah, adorable, just adorable. Really pretty, like nice neutral colors, some great shimmers in there and unique shimmers. Like this gold has almost got like a green tint to it. Um, you've got this really pretty um, pink one in Blitz. There's just a lot, like they have a really nice like They've got full glitter shades in two. They've got kind of metallic shimmer shades in two. And then they've got two matte shades. Just a really, really great little palette there. I would say it'd be like a nice one for like traveling, especially for my mom who likes mainly neutral colors. There's a lot for her to work with in that one. So personally, I'm a big fan of that particular palette. So I'm hoping I get that. Now, before we jump into my bag, I am going to put all of her stuff back in here and then I'm going to go down the list and tell you what the cost is. So uh, calculator man, you ready? They keep trifling. They keep trifling with these numbers, yo. Okay, so this first one, this first one, let's talk about this one. Cause this one is the first one on the list and it made me laugh. Guess how much this one is? 58, close enough. No, no, no. All right, we'll go into the Juice Beauty one cause I know this one is an expensive one. Yes, so this one is $80 in retail value. I would not pay that for it, but I know that's what it retails for. So that's why when every time I get the option to get one in a box, normally I say it's a smart idea because I know it's a higher priced item. Uh, the lip treatment is 20. The eyeliner is $12, $11.99. And the Wonder Beauty eyeshadow palette is $25. I don't personally, that's $195. I think they promised like $150 in products. Personally, I think that was weak as hell. Um, I could have predicted that anyway. I was thinking the eyeshadow palette was gonna be worth a little bit more, but it makes sense because Wonder Beauty is not like a super well-known brand. So it makes sense that it's a little bit of a less expensive brand. Um, yeah, I would say that's kind of like a, 
Besides the eyeshadow palette and the Juice Beauty, just because it is an expensive product, everything else is kind of a miss for me. So let's hope my box is just a tad bit better because if not, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. So. Okay, time to jump into my box. I have very little hope because my Ipsy was way worse than her Ipsy, so like, mm. didn't get the eyeshadow palette. Seriously, seriously. I don't even wanna open it now. Get out of my way. You know what I did get though? A black eyeliner, not the same one. Different black eyeliner. This is from Il Misqua. I hate, I hate everything. Wait, I have too many products. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six products, why do I have six products? I think one of them is the same product though. That's the same thing, right? That's the same thing, right? Is it the same thing? It's the same thing, they sent me two of them. Why did they send me two? What? I'm intrigued now. I'm still mad about the eyeshadow palette, don't get me wrong. But there's a good chance that somebody may be getting a highlighter because it looks like I got two. All right, yeah, I got big issues though. I got big issues though. Oh no, they're different shades. Oh, I got two different shades. All right, that makes it a little bit more worthwhile because I definitely have received some of the, I don't know what the brand is. I guess it's Space Case Cosmetics. That's all I can guess. Um, so I have received some of the Space Case Cosmetics. Like I've received one of their blushes before and I got like the same size in my normal Ipsy. So I was gonna say, if it's like just one, it's kind of crappy, but like these are pretty highlighters. I actually, they remind me very much of the old ColourPop um, packaging, like before ColourPop really started doing like, like their press palettes and stuff like that when they did the highlighters. That's, it's kind of what it reminds me of. So it's like, they're cool. I'm a, I'm a fan. I'm gonna swatch them just for fun. <gasps> they're great. Do you see that? Can you see it? Oh yeah, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. And then we'll do the other one too, which is more of like a, it's more of like a green gold is what I would call it. Yeah, those are really pretty. Okay, so I actually, I actually take that back. I was like concerned for a second, but like, I really like those. I'm really bitter about not getting that palette though. I'm not gonna recover from that one. So that's unfortunate as hell, but here we are, so. We shall live to see another day. I did get the Juice Beauty um, stem cell uh, anti-wrinkle serum as well. I know I picked that one out because I know the retail value is just much higher than what um, pretty much everything else they offered was. So that's why I chose that one. So that we already know that is an $80 value. I got this Nature's Cartel. What a weird name, but okay. It is a uh, some sort of a lipstick. Don't know what it looks like. Let's see, let's pull it out. Oh, pretty color though, really pretty color. Nice, very, very neutral, like brown toned shade. I I like reds and stuff occasionally, but this is what I'm gonna gravitate towards on the day-to-day -day basis. You guys can tell I have like a very light colored blush, kind of pinky color on my lips. So that's a very nice lipstick in my opinion, just because I can definitely use it. If I feel like my mom would trade me the eyeshadow palette for that, I would probably offer it because I really like that eyeshadow palette. But, And then I also unfortunately received this Henelay lip cream, so. Not too thrilled about that one, but oh well. All right, here we go. Yeah, oh, I got, ooh. Yeah, I got the shaft. All right, so we got the lip treatment for 20. We have the stem cell uh, thing for 80, thing, the cream. Uh, we've got the Ilmasqua liquid eyeliner in black for 22. We have the Nature's Cartel Lipstick in Nostalgia for 15, and then we have the Duo Highlighter for 18. And that gives me a total of 155, which I believe is the same that they said that my mom's with worth, but I don't know about that. I guess if I had to create my perfect box, I would probably go with, first of all, I would say my mom's definitely one because I want that eyeshadow palette. That being said, if I had to choose my perfect box, I would probably go with the Juice Beauty, which we both got, the highlighters that I got, the Ilma Squaw eyeliner that I got, just because I know that brand better than I know the one that she received. I did not recognize the brand that she received at all. So then her eyeshadow palette and then my lipstick. So that being said, actually more products came technically from my box than from her box, but I like that eyeshadow palette enough to say that her box won. So yeah, so that was today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. I think I rambled a whole lot in this particular one, but there was a lot going on. There always is when I'm having to price check all the different products for both of the boxes. So yes, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps the page out a ton. 
Also, please subscribe to the page. I'm pretty sure I already said that at the beginning of the video, but it definitely helps us out. And uh, we would really like to have you in the Dark Angel family. So definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell so you see when we post content. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.